Today we're looking at how you can use LumaFusion as a more or less offline editor and finish your project in DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun and I'm in LumaFusion right here. I have a very short little sequence I put together. There's some footage I shot at NAB last year, 2019. And I'm going to take this edit timeline and send it via their XML export to my computer and then use this edit on my desktop system to finish the project. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, the main reason would be if you are using LumaFusion as an offline editor. And what I mean by that is Basically, you're doing the rough edit on your iPad and then you're finishing on a computer. And the reason you would finish on a computer is you have more control for color grading and also visual effects and that kind of thing. Now that they offer this XML export, this could come in really handy doing commercials or film work even if you haven't shot on an iPhone. You could transcode the footage and still do your edit in LumaFusion and then take it into Final Cut Pro or in this case, I want to go to DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. So within LumaFusion, when you have your edit completed, it's locked. You go into the XML project package. Now in this case, I want to send it to another app or via AirDrop. One thing to note too, is when you send this across, the effects and any kind of color grading you did here will not go across to Final Cut Pro or whatever NLE you're using. Only the edits will go across, simple edits. If you did color correction here and you use LUTs, then you could take those LUTs that are on your LumaFusion project and then apply those within the other editing app and that would work out great. But color correction you do in here won't transfer to the other app, but you could still do it to show a client a look when you're on location or perhaps a director or producer, or if you're the director or producer or the DP, just to figure out how something might look when you're on location, but then you finesse it and finish it back on your desktop or your laptop. So here I'm going to do full media. That means it's gonna send the media across. I'm calling this NAB 2020, even though it's 2019. I wish they would have had NAB 2020, but not happening this year. Now it's writing the project. And this is on an old iPad, by the way. This is an iPad Air 2, but it'll still handle most of this kind of work. So now I'll airdrop it to my MacBook Pro. And it's now sending. And so the next step of the process will be opening that on my computer. All right, so now I'm on my computer and you can see that the file from LumaFusion is here, NAB 2020 zip. So I'll open that. I uncompressed it. And now here's the folder. These are the clips. And here you can see this is an XML file. Now it's a Final Cut Pro XML. If I double click this, it will open Final Cut Pro 10. And that's what this is really designed for. But there's another way if you want to use other apps like DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere Pro. So the easiest way is to use Resolve. Launching that software. This is the free version, by the way. I've got the studio version too, but I'm showing you the free version because you can download this for free and use it on your computer as well. Mac or PC. I'm running on a Mac laptop right now, a MacBook Pro. All right, go to import and I do import timeline from an XML. And here's the Final Cut XML, it'll read it just fine. And I'm just leaving these default settings. It didn't find the files instantly, and so I'm going to have it look for another folder. And there it is. Now that's been imported into DaVinci Resolve. Obviously, DaVinci Resolve is an amazing color correction app. You can now do a lot more than just color correction in DaVinci Resolve. But now that I have that timeline in here, I could go into the color grading aspect and do any grading that I wanted to do. And so here's an RGB parade and a vector scope. I'm not going to go over this right now, but this is one of the advantages to color correcting in a dedicated color correction app. You have a lot more control basically, and you can get exact colors if you need to. And so that's DaVinci Resolve. And now I will show how to do Premiere, but using Premiere is a little bit of a workaround, at least at this point, you have to use Resolve to actually edit in Premiere. 
So I'll go back to the edit area. This is my timeline. This is what I brought in from LumaFusion, which is actually a Final Cut Pro XML. And so all you need to do is go up here and do export XML. And this is the important part. You wanna export a Final Cut Pro 7 XML, a traditional .xml file. Don't do these other Final Cut Pro 10 XMLs. So you do that. I'm gonna call this Premiere and hit save. Now I'll collapse resolve. I'll go into Premiere and I will import that. There's the XML, it says Premiere, import. And here's a folder it created. That's got the clips. And here's the timeline. And so now you can do your finishing and your polishing in Premiere Pro. And again, in Premiere Pro, sort of like with Resolve, you can go into color and you've got your full complement of color correction tools. This is an RGB parade. You could also show a vector scope and you've got different presets you can use as well. Waveform, parade, vector scope. So this is a way to use LumaFusion on your iPad as an offline editor and then finish your project on a laptop or a desktop. That way you can do higher end color correction and add visual effects, etc. Although keep in mind, you can do great color correction on LumaFusion just using the LumaFusion app on your iPad. This workflow would be for more advanced projects, but just keeping it on LumaFusion for YouTube or what have you can be a great way to go. And I actually have a color correction course if you wanna to stick to using LumaFusion and I go over how to use it as an offline editor as well. If you're interested in learning more about that, there's a link in the description. And the course is available on the Academy section of my website at ifilmmakers.tv. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.